All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makakudash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the whole collective of Israel. And the title of this lesson is going to be uh, Humble Yourselves in the Sight of the Lord, and He Shall Lift You Up. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, what happens in this, uh, you know, this walk, you know, uh, us being hopeful men of the Lord is that, you know, we are humiliated all the time. You know, we're laughed at, um, we're taken advantage of, uh, took for granted, um, put last, um, you know, things of that nature, you know, stepped over, mocked, you know, all these things happen to us on a daily and what happens is sometimes you know you want to basically avenge yourself you want to show that you are somebody you want to show that you know something you want to show that you know um you aren't the things that people uh say you are or believe you to be you are all right and that oftentimes gets you in trouble because what happens is you forget that it's always been about Yahweh Bashmi Shai and not ourselves. And you forget that we're the ones that are in trouble. All right, we're supposed to bear the indignation, you know, of the Lord because we have sinned against him. And we're supposed to wait until he pleads our cause. We're not supposed to be pleading our own causes. All right, because the only way we're justified is when we um, are obedient to Yahweh Bashmi Shai. We're not justified by our own words. We're not justified by our own ways and thoughts. Okay, we're justified in Yahweh Bashmi Shai. And in this walk, <clears throat> you know, it, we have to uh, be afflicted. You know, we have to be humbled. And the Most High do, does these things by us being down here and catching hell. You know, the Most High is chastening us because he is uh, he is um, refining us. You know, and a man cannot be known in his prosperity. You know, it can only be known in his adversity. And that's why we go through the stuff that we're going through. All right. And. Um, we just have to come into acceptance of that, that we really have to wait upon Yahweh and that's the only option. All right. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to start here in James chapter four and start at verse nine. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. <clears throat> Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. All right, going into the title of this lesson, all right, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Okay, the most size uh, commanding us to be so. Why? Because um, being in the house of mourning is good for the heart, all right, it's good for your mind. Okay, and again, this goes into our refinement. The most high is making us perfect, and we have to be brought low. Okay, before we're brought on high, we have to be brought low, all right, it's a balance. Okay. You know, it's an equalizer of highs and lows. That's this walk. Okay. But mostly, you know, us being in the house of mourning. All right. That's how we go out in the highways and byways. We are sackcloth. Okay. We're not here to have a good time. Okay. We're here because this is our punishment. This is our captivity. All right. We're not here to uh, have a party and, and, and enjoy ourselves. Okay. Of course, there's a leisure time, so to say, for us to balance ourselves out. Okay. <clears throat> You know, things we do on the side, you know, brothers might drink, brothers might <clears throat> work on cars, you know, brothers might play video games, you know, younger brothers play video games, so, you know, you watch a movie, okay, stuff of that nature, but nonetheless, you know, we're still here in hell, all right, and the Most High reminds us of that, all right, this is not our place of rest, all right, and that's why the Most High afflicts us, because the flesh, well, all the flesh wants to do is be comfortable, all the flesh wants to do is, um, you know, do what it wants to do. All right, the flesh wants doesn't want to be in adversity. The flesh wants to be in safety. All right, the flesh wants to be a somebody. The flesh wants to, um, you know, do the things of the flesh. Okay, but that's why this is a spiritual walk. Okay, and this is only for a spiritual man. Because if you're a carnal, you can't abide in this walk. You can't. You're not going to be lasting here long because you're not going to be able to. Uh, Hang on to the, you know, the really taking on the yoke of Yah Bash and You know, we're prisoners, All right? You know, but you know, this is again, this is a part of this walk. A lot of sufferings, 
all right? A lot of shortcomings, a lot of things not going your way, all right? Because we are in the hands of Yah Bashmi Shai, and He is molding us and He is shaping us, all right? And it's a process, all right? And Mosai is not going to always have us being brought low. He's not going to always have us, you know, I guess, so to say, having a good day, all right? But most high in this walk, you know, it's 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 specifically for you, and it's for you to come into your perfection, all right? And it, but it requires you to be humble. You have to humble yourselves, all right? You can't be trying to exalt yourself uh, in any type of shape or form, because that's the most high's job. And when you have to remember that we're filthy, our righteousness is filthy rags. So who who are we? You know, we're in this filthy flesh. You know, we have done all filthy things. And we all sin against Yah Bashan Shai every single day. Alright, so who are we to think ourselves to be somebody? Alright, because scriptures say about that, you know. We are we are nobody's trying to be found as somebody. We're not trying to make ourselves somebody. Alright, if you want to do that, then you would stay in the world. Alright, go and chase after your dreams and ambitions and you know seek after the praise of men and not after the praise of Yah Bashan Shai. Okay. Now this thing is about um, yeah, being humble, all right, and in due time, the Most High will exalt us. You know, you know about the promises, you know about being joint heirs, you know about, you know, being uh, royalty. But before that happens, it's a process, and before that happens, you know, you have to be uh, uh, humble. Okay, so moving on, this is a uh, Proverbs chapter eighteen and verse twelve. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And haughty is basically pride, you know, a proud look. All right, that's why it says before uh, pride cometh before destruction. All right, thinking you're somebody, you know, and putting uh, putting the most high to the side. All right, thinking again, just thinking that you're somebody. All right, when you're really a nobody. Okay, but continuing, and before honor, <clears throat> before honor is humility. Right, before our honor, before we're crowned and receive our glory, we have to be humiliated. And a perfect example is our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's why it talks about bearing your cross. All right, we are walking in the footsteps of our Lord to the best of our ability, to the little piece which he has given us being a part of the body. Okay? Yahweh Shai, he was humiliated. He was laughed at. He was scoffed, he was spit on, he was slapped around. Alright, and he was he was the only begotten. Alright, he was just the you know the firstborn, being the son of the most high. And look at the stuff that he had to go through. Did he any did any did he in any shape or form exalt himself when he was doing the miracles? Did he say, Oh, look at me, look at me? No. Okay? When he was tempted by Satan. All right, that's humiliation. All right, like it says in Philippians, the second chapter, um, and being found in, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. That's a, that's humiliating. All right, that's extremely humiliating. You know, being, you know, again, the firstborn, Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, the Messiah. Didn't he, didn't he say, uh, well, I can send 12 legions? Uh, if I'm not quoting it uh, wrong. All right. The word of the Most High came in flesh. And he, but he humbled himself. Having all that, you know, all that power that the Most High has given him, he still remained humble. You know, he didn't, he didn't uh, avenge himself when, you know, the centurions was messing with him and, you know, had, uh, just again, all the humiliation, the, the, even our own people, you know, uh, delivering, delivering him onto, you know, the, the, the devil, all right, Esau, you know, saying, let his blood be upon us and our children. The Mosai didn't avenge themselves. It's lucky. Yahushai, you know, Yahushai, you know, didn't avenge himself. <clears throat> he, he buried it. And just like we have to bear, uh, bear these things in our walk too, all right? Because this is just this is just part of the walk, all right. And it's always about exalting the Most High, all right. <clears throat> so this is um this is um Sirach chapter um, 
43, and I'm start at verse 29. The Lord is terrible and very great, and marvelous is his power. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary. For ye can never go far enough. All right, so I brought this up because this is the point of this whole ministry. All right, being in this truth, you know, and coming into light and knowledge of Yah Bashim Yoshai is not for your own self. It's not for your own self. It's all about glorifying the Most High. All right, and if you're worrying about glorifying yourself, you're taking away that strength to glorify the Most High. You don't think he notices that? All right, and again, it happens. We're in the flesh. You know, you want to, you know, you want to be a somebody. You know, you're tired of people picking on you. You're tired of being put forth last. You're tired of being ignored and, you know, uh, all that nature. You know, you want to, you want to exalt yourself. You want to be, you know, you want to prove everybody wrong pretty much. But <clears throat> that's not our, that's not our job. That's not our job. And that's out of our strength. You know, and, and, and you can do those things, but the most high will humble you. Then you'll really be humiliated. Okay, and, and you don't want that. Just take the little thing, the little the little burden the most high puts upon you and just and just deal with it. Alright, don't make the situation worse than what it needs to be. Alright, because the most high is um the most high wants to be exalted. And that's our that's our whole purpose being in existence. All right, is for us to glorify the Most High. All right, it's not for ourselves. And again, in due time, we'll get we'll get all that. But it's just not our time right now. All right. So moving on, this is First Peter chapter five, and verse six. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that He may exalt you in due time. You know, in due time. That's that's where the patience comes in. You know, this is the the faith and the patience of the saints. All right, patience means to suffer. It's suffering. You know, it's torture. All right, that we have to deal with these things because we, you know, all these uh, false ac accusations and the slander. You know, we know it's not true. You know, so we want you. Know, we want our, call, our our cause to be pleaded, and for us to show that we're innocent. But you know, we can't do that because that's not our job. All right, we're not, and we're not going to be justified. In our own ways and our own doings. Because that's what's gonna get us in trouble. That's going outside the boundaries that the most high set before us. That's the most high's job to do that. You know, to plead our cause, to fight for us. Alright? You know, of course if a you know if a man come up to you and slap you around and stuff, you know, there's different points in uh, in different situations, okay? Alright. But you know, ultimately, you know, the point is that you know the most high will defend you, the most high will exalt you, the most high will you know do these things if you do what you're required to do which is be humble and always remember that you know we're nobodies all right again we're nobody's trying to be found or somebody all right because we haven't finished this race yet so we can't be you know again it's a, it's about a confidence and faith thing you know yeah why else would you be in this thing if you didn't believe you're a man of the lord but it's not it's not official yet our trial is not finished yet now, we haven't been crowned yet. Okay? So again, we're we're in training. We're we're still trying to be found worthy. Okay? And and that's why the scriptures say the meek shall inherit the earth. Alright? And this trait is gained by our experiences. That's why the, again, that's why the most high gives us hell. Alright, because the most high wants to see how we're going to react. That's about the reaction. You know? It's about how you react, all right? And you always have to remember to be humble, all right, in everything you do, all right? Because the Most High is always watching, all right? So the continuous is uh, verse 7, First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Exactly. You know, when, when someone makes fun of you and humiliates you and does something, you know, uh, that's, you know, that's not cool to you, you know, you, you call upon the Most High to, to take care of it, all right? You know, when 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 all these things come upon you, you know, put your cares upon the Most High. That's what goes into him, goes into you sighing and crying, begging the Most High to plead your cause, to avenge you, all right, to to defend you, all right. 
That's what the Most High wants you to do. He does not delight in you taking upon your own hands. Okay? Because then, then you're not going to be defended. Then you're not going to be taken care of. And then your, 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 your um, cause is not going to be pleaded. Okay? So, um, I mean, basically that's the point. You know, there's really no point in extending this lesson. But it's just about humbling yourselves and waiting upon the Lord. You know, till you know, uh, he make our, the enemies our footstool. You know? So all, the Most High is getting ready to do all this for us, and all we have to do is be obedient and just and just suffer it. Okay. You know, before honor is humility. All right, we're being humiliated. All right, and and again, it sucks, and that's the whole point. Okay. So when the time comes, when we are exalted and we do receive that crown, you know, it's, that's going to make the moment so much more sweeter. All right. But you know, Lord's bonus is edifying, and as always, want to give all praises. To Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the whole faith of Israel. Shalom.